Hello everyone, and once again, welcome to Maytech. Today we're going to look at making these two-piece laser cut Mario boxes. I'm going to show you how to make the plain variety here, but also how to dress them up to make these cool little Mario question cubes. This is a quick and easy project, so it's great for any beginners out there that are just getting into laser cutters. Before we get into the project, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so and click that notification bell. Alright, let's get into making this. For the material for this project, we're going to use three pieces of 1 8 Baltic birch plywood. Two of the pieces of the plywood are going to get stained. I'm going to stain one yellow and one white, and I'm going to use a product called Unicorn Spit that I got at Home Depot to do this. After the stain is dry, I'm going to give the colored sheets of plywood a coat of spray lacquer, and I'm going to do this so that any charring from the laser cutting process is easily wiped off of the colored pieces. To generate the files for this project, we're going to head over to a site called boxes.py. This is a super cool site, and as you can see, it has a whole bunch of different options for generating files for different types of laser cut boxes. We're going to expand the main boxes tab and select the two piece option. Now I've gone ahead and I've already set up my measurements into this two piece box generator. For my box, I'll be using a cube measurement of 60 by 60 by 60 millimeters and this will be the outside measurements of the box. The play option here will determine how tightly your two pieces of box fit together. 0 0.05 worked for me, but you may have to play with this tolerance to see what works best for your project. I'll be using a thickness of 3.2 millimeters for my plywood. Obviously, you're gonna have to change this to the thickness of whatever plywood you'll be using. I'll be exporting my file out in an SVG format and not using any tabs for it. I will also not be using the reference guide on my material, so I'll be setting this to zero. For the burn, which basically compensates for the cutting diameter of your laser beam, or I guess what you can call the kerf of your laser, I'll be using 0 0.07. You'll of course have to play with this and adjust it to however thick your laser beam cutting kerf is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate, which is gonna give me the SVG file you see here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this file to my computer. Now I've went ahead and already imported and laid out my SVG file into Lightburn. You can of course use whatever layout software you prefer. I'll be providing links to download my Lightburn and SVG file in the description box below. For my plain boxes, I'll be cutting these out at a speed of 8 and a power of 55, and this is on my 50 watt CO2 laser. For easy assembly later, I'll be engraving guides onto the Mario box for the question marks and rivets. I'll be doing this at a speed of 14 and a power of 10. I'll then be also cutting these out at a speed of 8 and a power of 55. For the decorations on the Mario box, I've gone ahead and just made some question marks here and some dots. I'll be cutting these out at a speed of 8 and a power of 55. And I'll be providing a link for these question mark files in the description box. All right, let's go ahead and cut these out. To assemble my boxes, I'm going to use CA glue for the quick setting time. You can of course just go ahead and use normal wood glue if that's what you have. I'll also be using CA glue activator to make sure I get a really quick set with the CA glue. To apply the CA glue into the little finger joints, I'll be using the head of a pin. The pin itself will be mounted into an old X-Acto knife blade handle. And at any point, if I need a little bit more persuasion to get the parts assembled, I'll be using this rubber tipped mallet. Once the CA glue is fully cured, I'm going to go ahead and remove the masking tape I was using to clamp the pieces together. 
I'm gonna go ahead and test to make sure the two pieces fit together well. Now if they're fitting too tightly, you can go ahead and take a file and sand down the corners until you get the fit you like. Now that I have my boxes fit in the way I like, I'm gonna go ahead and finish them off with a couple coats of spray lacquer. All right, so here we have the finished boxes with the lacquer all dried. If you're wondering about the little Mario keychains you're seeing there, I do have a video tutorial up for that and I'll put a link in the description for it. That's it for this tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Alright, see you all next time.